Yeah, there's there's pros and cons to it, right? I mean, those guys have both played a lot of football and and uh, still have a lot to work on, and so they they hate that they're missing, but ultimately want to get those guys healthy. And but it has been good to get other guys a lot of reps and and to mix and match groups a little bit more um, has been has been helpful. And and then Mitch has missed a couple of days with a little knee, he tweaked his knee a little bit, so it's been good for those young guys to get a lot of work. How long is Mitch going to be out? He'll be back next week. But yeah, at first that first scrimmage just got rolled up a little bit. So um, yeah, so it's been good. We've been mixing and matching guys like crazy. So those young guys have shown up every day and competed very hard. So I think they're getting better. What did you learn? I guess. Um, well, you know, it's it's good to see who can who can learn the new system, right? And so in, in that sense, um, you know, the mid year guys are kind of in the same place as far as learning the offense because everyone's hearing it for the first time. Um, so it's been good to, to create a lot of competition um, at uh, every spot across the offensive line. It's been really good. Um, so I think we're, we're, we're feeling more and more confident about creating some competitive depth. You know, last year we played five guys pretty much the entire season and uh, had four guys close to 1,000 reps. So, you know, our best years around here, we've had eight to ten guys that we feel like can go in there and play for us. So I feel like we're, we're trending in that direction. Well, Tristan's had an incredible offseason. Um, he was one of the most improved guys last year. He's continued his upward trajectory. Uh, he's just, he's just, he's a great kid, you know, and you get a kid that's highly recruited like, like Tristan. Sometimes they have an inflated view of themselves, but he's been very self aware, very under, you know, knows where he is, what he'd do to get better. You know, shout out to Coach Hogan in the weight room. I mean, what Coach Hogan has done with those guys, especially Tristan, you know, but he's bought in and he's always looking to get better. And so, Really feeling feeling good about where Tristan is. Um, you know, he's he's worked really hard at changing his body composition. That's one thing. You know, he's continuing to lean out a little bit. Uh, he's trusting his his length and his and his punch and, and pass protection. And um, he's been he's been pretty solid in the run game. I think it's more of converting speed to power and stopping the bull rush has been a big point of emphasis for him. How has Lefty his progression this spring? Yeah, very very good. So uh, you know, Putnam um, went to Matt Bockhorst wedding on Saturday. And so Ryan got all the first team reps at center. So really, really, really happy with with where Ryan is, his progression. Um, He's been a very consistent guy. It's hard sometimes being the backup center because, you know, unless someone gets hurt, uh, it's hard to rotate centers. And so I think that that can affect you a little bit sometimes. But he's shown up, he's gone to work, and and my message to him has been, hey, we're going to put the best five on the field. And if that means putting you at center and putting them back to guard, we'll do whatever it takes to get the best five on the field. So... I think he's done a good job. Uh, biggest thing for him has been you know, being more vocal, making the, the points, the IDs, the communication, making sure everyone's on the same page. Um, and so he's he's accepted the challenge. Got Colin and Dietrich. Uh, what have you seen from them? It's been good. But both those guys have had a good had a good um, spring. Um, this, the half scrimmage we had on Saturday, they both had their best days. So, you know, Dietrich's a guy that's just, he's learning to, to work and, and, and what it takes to become a great player. And, you know, in the past, Dietrich's been up one day and had a good day and then down the next. And so it's, it's about, you know, being consistent over time. Can we trust you to, to go out there and do your job? So um, he's, he's, he's been doing some good things. You know, Coach challenged him in the offseason. I think he's, he's, he's taken that challenge. Uh, and then Collins had a good spring. He he really has. He's a guy that gives you position flexibility, that can play guard. But we've tried to just leave him at tackle and let him and Tristan battle and compete for that spot. And so um, he's had a good look in his eye, and he's he's gone to work. Um, so we've been very pleased. You know, he he plays with with an edge that you that you want. Uh, so that's been good. We, we've we, we cross train an individual and uh, we've cross trained a little bit like in some one on one settings, um, you know. But really, ch- we've we've been playing a little bit of musical chairs in the guard position, so trying to just kind of keep him consistent there. I mean, he's he's done a good job, and and again, you know, you feel if you feel good about Tristan and Colin coming along, you don't feel like you have to to swing them as much. But we'll continue to to cross train, you know, and uh, and and play them on both sides. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. I mean, we can go out there and win with those guys for sure, for sure. You know, and if, if we went, to, if we go out there today, you know, I think both those guys have, have earned the, the opportunity to play. Prospect of Tate being able to play left tackle, I guess long term, that's still something that back in your mind going into the summer. 
Sure, yeah. I mean, I think um, that gives you some, some flexibility. I mean, you know, this time last year, we were really pleased with where Blake was. Um, but I don't know if any of us would have said, hey, he's, he's going to be our starting right tackle. You know, and it was as everything those guys did through the summer. And then a couple of days into, into fall camp, we said, you know, he's one of our best five. Walker was interested in bumping in, and so, um, so we did it. So, um, yeah, there's, there's still a ton of time before we kick it off, you know, in September. Um, but, yeah, we'll con- I met with Marcus today. We'll continue to train him at, at guard and tackle, you know, and we'll get a plan kind of going into the fall camp. But, but have been really pleased, you know, um, I think we're at a place where we could play him at left tackle if he's our best player. We don't have to play him there because we don't have any anyone else who can do it, which I think is that's, there's a, a big distinction there. Yeah, yeah, really pleased with with all three of those mid years. I mean, those guys are about the right stuff. Um, Ian is, uh, is you know comes from a great program in Texas. They know how to work, knows how to train. So he's um, he's been working hard, gotten a lot of reps at, at the right tackle spot, you know. When so for these young guys, really just trying to leave them at one spot and let them learn it, you know. And so he's been at at right tackle, and, and Harris has been left, and then have have cross trained uh, Harris and, and Zach a little bit at both guards. Um, so the, all three of those guys have the the mental uh, capability to play multiple positions. I saw Walker and them just kind of obviously doing their thing on the side the other day. Where are they at? And you feel like Definitely going to be 100% when you guys get ready in August. Yeah, sir. I think so. Um, you know, I, I joked with Walker. All I see him do is is lift and do treatment and eat. I mean, he's he's huge. He's strong as strong as he's ever been. You know, he's a guy that fights to keep it on. So he's he's been he's been killing it. He's doing great. Um, you know, and, and he's a he's a leader, he's a leader, and so it's been good to see some of those other guys have to step step in that role. So he's feeling good. Um, I think he was like. 90% on the Alter G running, straight ahead running the other day. And so there's no pain in the ankle. It's just a matter of stiffness and getting it back. So he'll be, he'll be full go in the summer. So excited about getting him back. And, um, you know, he's been locked in and engaged and going to all the meetings and practices to learn the new terminology and, and has participated in some of the walkthroughs, you know, has gotten in there and taken some reps and walkthrough stuff. And Marcus. And Marcus, yeah, Marcus. Marcus was in, you know, he was he was going through, he went through Indy last couple of days, so he looked really good today doing some change of direction stuff. He's a guy that if you know if you were going to go play in a game on April fifteenth, he might be a guy that you know could go a little bit. You know, I mean, he's close. He's very close. Yeah. Well, you know, we try to base a lot of that off body comp, and he's a very lean guy. He's at like twenty six percent body fat, you know, and which is pretty impressive for his size so uh there's certainly room he can improve um and, and and continue to come down so we'll you know we meet as we meet with all of those guys at the end of the spring we'll um you know give him a target goal weight for the for the summer after we talk talk with coach hogan and talk to megan our nutritionist and kind of get a plan for him so um you know guys that tend to gain weight as the season go on we try to get them a little bit lighter going into camp but then there's guys that struggle to keep it on you want them a little bit heavier so spring is a good time for players to kind of figure out what their natural body weight is um so he's been moving better you know i mean he can carry a lot of weight that's that's for sure um you know it's, it's learning to, to to train the right way and and push through and and finish you know i think that's a big part of it how do you feel about that? No, I've been, been, you know, uh, I think Tuck, Tuck had his best day Saturday. He's, he's getting better, feel, 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 feel better about where Dietrich is, and he's, he's getting better as well. And then Harris has been a, a really a bright light. I mean, he's, he's done some really good things. So, you know, you got those three guys, and then you got, you know, obviously Mitchell, and you got Marcus and, and, uh, and Walker. So we got some, we got some depth there. That's, that's good. So, you know, what we need is just the, guy, the two guys are going to take it over. You know, um, and then the rest of them need to need to come along. So it's been good. It's been good competition. Yeah. How beneficial was it late, late in the season for Mitchell being able to start the, I guess? Yeah, it, it might have been f- might have been five. It was it was a home game, Miami or Louisville or something. So it's it's invaluable. I mean, I think yeah, four, of the last five. four last five. Yeah. So yeah, he started four. And then one of the game he started, and then Marcus came back, got hurt in like the first series. So he really played five games. So, you know, again, it, it, like football is fun to play. It's 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 not always fun to practice. And so, 
when you get a guy like Mitch who's you know in his third year and hasn't gotten on the field, um, and Mitchell for most of the fall was our our next right tackle, you know, and then continued to progress and against Florida State had about 20 reps at guard and tackle. He was kind of our sixth guy and felt felt more confident about where he was. So um, you know when a guy gets to play and realizes that they can go out there because you know it's practice is always harder than the game. I mean every. Every drill is a, is a de- defense usually has the advantage if it's pass rush or if it's inside drill, you know. And so skis in the back, he didn't like that. Uh, but uh, so, um, you know, to get him out there and to get him some game reps for him to see I can, I can play at this level, I think that just a boost of confidence, you know, and, it, and that changes every, every aspect of their lives. So it's been really good for Mitch to get out there. And then he, he attacked the offseason as a guy, I'm coming to go compete for a starting spot. Because if Mitch is the best guy at guard and Marcus is the best guy at tackle, that, that's our lineup, you know. So, um, but yeah, pleased with where he's where he is. I, I know you're still trying to, as you mentioned, the depth, especially at your guard position, get more depth in there and get more than five guys on the field. But considering a lot of guys that played, you didn't, you didn't, you know, up until the end, you were pretty healthy for most of the year. How beneficial was that? And then also the fact that coming back, all those guys get that experience, and you feel like maybe this is a strength more of a strength now for this offense than yeah. it was in previous years? I think so, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, on paper you lost Jordan McFadden, uh, but you have five guys coming back who have started, you know, significant games. So so that's certainly uh, invaluable. Um, so, and then, you know, those, I mean, the other part is it just, yeah, it gives you competition. At every, like Mitchell is not coming back to sit on the bench. He's coming back to compete for a spot. Marcus and, and Walker, and then those guys that got here aren't just coming to redshirt. They're trying to compete for a spot. So the more competition you have, the better. We've always had great competition against our defensive line. We've always had great players. And now as we're getting a little bit more competitive depth in the O-line, that, that creates even more competition. Um, so, you know, and then we're trying to keep them um, from being comfortable. You know, if a guy jumps off sides, we'll take him out and throw the next guy in there. You know, so you got to, you know, you – Coach has always said, "Hey, the, the tie goes to the the veteran." But we're gonna we're gonna play the best five guys. I think we've shown that. It was Marcus as a freshman. It was Blake as a freshman, and so, you know, everyone's got to earn it every day. And so I think if you create that standard and that mindset, it goes a long way, and it carries over in the weight room and the meeting room and academically, the competition academically and in all areas of their life. I think that's important. We have time for one more question. Yeah. Mhm. Um, yeah, I think the biggest. I think the biggest thing is is um, the menu of plays that we're carrying into a practice, to a scrimmage, and all that is is smaller. And so, um, you know, you could run inside zone out of every imaginable formation, but um, when you're carrying out of less formations, I think you can coach up some of the details and and the looks that you're expecting a defense to give you a little bit with, with a little bit more precision and accuracy. Um, and, and so I think, um, I think that's been a big difference, um, is, you know, and then that allows you within week game weeks to be a little bit more creative in the run game. You know, if you're going to run a new little fold scheme or, or counter or something like that, but you're only carrying it to a few formations. Now I think that allows you to really focus on the looks that you're going to get. And those guys get confident and they get good at it and they just practice it and, and you're also getting the pra- competitive practices, in, you know, against your defense. So, you know, if you're carrying ten plays and you got to get all ten of those repped, and you only have, you know, ten snaps of practice, you get hit one time. If you have five plays and you have ten, you know, you get it ripped twice. So I just think as we get through the spring, we've we've, we've gotten more and more reps at our base stuff, and that increases precision, um, and and that gives guys confidence and ability to play faster, think less, and. And now you can work even more time in your individual on the fundamentals and techniques of the of the position. Is it the Paris projection more special in order? He's an inside guy. Inside guy. Yep. 